you know, having to say from all the beginning of my pregnancy. My son's eight months old now. So, um, uh, but I didn't really have a snapback that I thought I would have. Um, because I went through my whole pregnancy with no stretch marks. I was feeling myself, y'all. I was confused. I had to go, when I finally started feeling better, I had to go to the teeny top on the pan. You couldn't tell me anything. No, but I'm going back to better than my old body. I had a dream, I had a six pack. <laughs> show them, my nine-year-old gets it, how um, the world will really just lie, right? And why those lies are told. And so I think that um, also, uh, my kid came into the house the other day and um, you know saw what was uh, going on in the news um, in Texas, and they can read. And so using those opportunities or those times to really just sit down and talk about, um, I tell my kids all the time, mommy and daddy loved you. You know, we love you so much, but the world, you know, may not, right? And I think that as a parent, that is a hard conversation to have because you do, I know I do, want to balance joy in my house. I want I want them to be woke to an extent. I'm just gonna be very honest. And I don't want my I don't think I don't want my nine year I don't want my nine year old worrying like I worry right now. Right? So I gotta, I still have to, I'm wrestling with this question because I still have to protect their innocence to a degree. Right? right? And I have to figure out ways and opportunities where I can interject those conversations. And so I do use holidays. I do use extreme time when my grandma was murdered. My son was at my mom's house. And my parents keep CNN on. Or I like to call it TNN now. Right? They kept it on. And so he came home and said, there was a, there was a, there was a boy laying in the street because, you know, cops killed him. And it was like, it was normal. It was like a normalized conversation. He kept going. And I had to call him back. And we had to talk about it. But it's not something we talk about every day. It's not something I want to talk about. And I, and I, it's just like I hate that the kids have to be on gun reform advocates right now. Like, that bothers me. That, that is not normal. And so I think that as much as we want our kids to be woke, you know, as much as we want to take our kids to the marches, and we, and we do that, we still do have to understand like what is the the level of exposure that they need to be um, exposed. One last thing, I met a lady uh, because they're gonna go, they're they're doing it, and I shared it. And when I tell you on my way to work, I shared that story. By 4:30 that afternoon, I had a box on my desk from a black designer in Brooklyn who said, I saw your story, I've been following you for years, and this was a perfect opportunity for me to send you one of my designs. Because, you know, I want you looking fabulous and being fabulous, and here's an outfit you can wear tomorrow, so you want to put on the same <laughs> But like, how beautiful is that? Like, look what we do. And like, that was a huge gesture, but just, you know, just those little moments of like sliding into each other's DMs or texting or, those sorts of things. Hell, I'm on a tech thread with Candace, and we just like dig up each other all the time. We're like, girl, like my scalp isn't acting right. Like what? You know, like it's so amazing what we do for each other.